Yesterday was primary day in Ohio. In addition to presidential hopefuls, Knox County had local candidates and issues on the ballot. Local voters had different reasons for coming out to vote. Well, the MRDD issue is close to home. We have a daughter in the program and um, it's just really important and for all of the, the programs really. Um, it's just too critical a year with all the issues and all the candidates not to come out and vote. Just too, too important. Well, we're in the Knox County School District and although we don't have children in the school district, we, we, um, we appreciate the need for a good education and good, um, good facilities and equipment. I voted all my life and have never missed it since I started voting. So I enjoy voting in fine night, especially. Um, you know, not a lot. Mostly, you know, I feel very strong about uh, presidency. Were you, did you feel like the information was pre uh, presented to you clearly about what they, um, what the issues were that they felt for? Absolutely. And in regards to, you know, Mount Vernon, that they've done some, you know, good jobs in, you know, putting everything in the paper and that, and, you know, voting, you know, for voting, um, be more aware of everything that's up, you know, whether it's for the MRDD and stuff like that. So. Care to share with us who you voted for? Absolutely, for Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Yep. Voters were given the option to request paper ballots at their precinct. Heroes to all, all have to do paper. So you have the Democratic ballot and there's the official Republican ballot, you know, with the names. And then, for example, the independents who do not declare, they can only vote on the issues. 17 year olds cannot vote on the issues. All election results are unofficial until certified by the Knox County Board of Elections. Stay tuned to the Mount Vernon News and mountvernonnews.com for all the latest in election results. This is George Breithaupt reporting for mountvernonnews.com.